Hi everyone, Jill Lancer, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Hi, how is everyone? Um, today I'm going to make a really simple card. Um, now I saw it on Pinterest and credit where credit is due. It was um, in Mary, now I'm not sure how to pronounce that and I'm sorry if I'm just going to go ahead and butcher that. Mary Naby, now that's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, she is in stampinpeace.com um, and it's using uh, one of the lovely um, new sets from the mini catalogue which is called the Flowing Flowers um, and this is a distinctive uh, stamp set and all that means is that all of that detail is stamped in one go so you've got the shading um, really lovely stamp sets and um, they'll usually uh, tell you in the catalogue that they are a distinctive stamp set. Um, this is from the new mini catalogue that uh, came out earlier this year. I'll show you what page that is on. Um, I always refer to the back indexes. It's called Catalogue at a Glance. Um, here it is here, the Flowing Flowers and it's on page 36. Um, page 36 and that's that set there so it tells you here that it's a distinctive stamp set um, I'll just turn that down a bit um, but it gives you this beautiful uh, sort of like a watery colory effect um, really really beautiful and I saw these stamps um, uh, these cards in Pinterest as I said um, and it's only using this one stamp set one ink one color of ink and because I'm making a set I wanted to include a sympathy stamp a sympathy card now this card this stamp set is from the current celebration offer that's on at the moment and it is free with $180 worth of uh, sales. But you're getting 21 uh, stamps. So that's 21 uh, sentiment stamps. So I think this one will be one, if you do purchase, if you do purchase it and earn it as a reward, I think you're going to use this one time and time again because it's got a lot of different uh, sentiments in it. But we'll get started. Uh, so they're the two stamp sets that I'm using. Sentiment from here, uh, stamps, images and sentiments from this one here. Now I've put the details down. So I've made the card bases from the very vanilla thick card base. It's just a little thicker than our normal um, card base. Uh, the thicker cards are really good for the card bases. Now I've cut that at 14.85 and then I've scored it at 10.5 uh, and that's centimeters okay so if you're using imperial it would be half an a4 and then scored down the middle again um, so that's the card bases now the cards themselves are using minimal supplies. As I said, one ink pad, which is the Mary Merlot. I've got some Mary Merlot uh, cardstock already cut. Now I used my little um, guide here that you can make yourself. So the Mary Merlot is cut to this size here, which is 12.3 by eight centimeters. Now that's going to fit on this card um, just like that so you're going to get a, a cream border all the way around and then we've got a piece of the very vanilla that will fit into that and you're going to just get that really lovely Mary Malo uh, thin border all the way around but they're the two sizes okay 11.8 by 7.5 and the 12.3 by eight centimeters. Uh, 
and we're just going to stamp on these four panels and I'm just going to show you once it's cut just how quickly these cards can come together. We're also going to embellish with these beautiful iridescent rhinestone uh, basic jewels. Uh, these are also in the new mini catalog. Um, I'm not putting ribbon on them or anything. These will be designed to go through the mail uh, really easily. Um, but these little iridescent rhinestones are just so versatile. They literally go with any colour that's going to be underneath and it will pick it up uh, and as I said they're iridescent so they're very very shiny and they are in here on page 87 of the new mini catalogue um, $13 but you're getting heaps there's three different sizes um, I think it showed page 9 where they used them let me just have a quick look Yep. So here they are featured in this uh, Sweet Talk suite, but there they are there. And as I said, there's a lot. There's 200 in there and you get three different sizes. But they're going to be very, very useful. So the first thing I, I have is four of the pieces of the Very Vanilla. And the next thing I'm going to do is to put my greetings on. Now I'm using happy birthday, thank you. Sending a card instead of a text and the with sympathy, which is a little harder to see um, only because it's uh, a clear stamp, a clear polymer stamp. So, Sorry. So what I thought I'd do is I'll stamp the message first, the sentiment first, because, you know, if you make a mistake, you can turn it over. But that seems to me to be the harder stamp to get correct. And I'm going to make them different, but the same, if you know what I mean. They'll, they'll be a distinct set of gift cards for you to give. Um but they will be all different. So the recipient will get cards that can be used for a lot of different occasions. So I think I'll make thank you, I think I'll put thank you down here. Now I'm not directly over that, so I'm hoping that comes out straight. If not, flip it over. That's why we have two, two sides. And I really thought, um, Mary had used the cream and the Mary Merlot and they just went beautifully. So I didn't change that because it was just so, so nice together. They just seemed to complement one another. So there's thank you. I'll do happy birthday next. And I'm putting these all in the orientation well these ones here also uh, actually are going to be like what we call landscape but I, I might throw in a portrait one just to show you how versatile they are now this is a scripty one and I don't think it would matter if it was a little bit crooked but I'll do my best from here so you just place it on there and like you don't have to really smash that stamp down. Um, just hold it down for a couple of seconds till the ink transfers on. And there we go. And that's crooked, but I don't, you know what? I, I'm not gonna worry about it because it's in a whimsical font. So I might make the um, with sympathy, the vertical one. I'm just using a bit of a foam, a bit of foam. We do have a special piercing mat that is made of this same uh, dense foam. I haven't got one, so I'm just improvising here. So now this one is on the angle and sometimes if they don't fit on the block, try them on the angle, but it also helps you to get actually get them straight I found 
um, because you're more focused on the stamp rather than the block. So again, wish me luck. It's down, it's on, <laughs> slight pressure and leave it on for a couple of seconds. Hopefully, cross your fingers, hold your breath. And there we have With Sympathy. Again, that's a really lovely font. Um, now this one's a bit, bit cute. It's for an anything, anything. Sending a card instead of a text. I just think that's cute. We do so many text, do so much texting these days that sometimes, you know, you lose sight of um, a simple written message in the mail. Now I'm gonna actually stamp that because I saw something on there. No, that looks okay. Um, yeah, sending a card instead of a text. I just think that's nice. It's just basically to say hello. So we've got them in a few different orientations. We'll put this one over here. You know, I'm hoping that's straight. Again, I haven't got my head over the top of it. Just holding it down for a minute. And there we go. It's lovely. Lovely. Now, before I go any further, um, my online store is... Um, jillancet.stampinup.net and if you go there you will see in the top right hand corner links to my Pinterest, face, my business Facebook page, um, I think I've got in Instagram there and also YouTube. So that is a central, if you're looking for something go there and you'll have a link to it. Uh, also this current host code is only until the end of January. Now we're at the pointy end of January. So if you see this after the 31st of January 2020, on my opening page in my online store is the current host code. So always check there first. Um, it helps me to um, gather things that I can give away as gifts for my customers when they spend over a certain amount. So they're, they're all done now. All of the um, sentiments are done. And now we're going to stamp uh, with these gorgeous flowers. They're just so beautiful. Um, now I've chosen just two, just two, the two larger ones. There is another small one. Uh, but I've only chosen those. Uh, chosen those, um, Mary. That's what Mary used. So I'm, while I'm, I've changed it up. I am actually staying a little bit close to Mary's original design. Um, so with these little blocks, you really need to stamp all over. Now you can see there's some straight lines there. If you stamp and twist it around. Um, you won't worry about those lines coming up. Now, all the detail is in the stamp and it's going to do that for you. So they really are really quick, but very, very, very beautiful and very effective um, stamps. So I'm going to stamp this one up in the corner here like that. And I'm, I'm stamping quite a large part of the stamp, but I am actually going off off the piece as well. Again, just holding that down with a bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure, not smooshing too hard. And there it is. That's beautiful, isn't it? So then I'm going to use the other one. And I particularly love the um, spattered effect on this so I'm going to use that to my advantage so I'm going to put it in this corner like this 
and then I'm going to use the spattered bit down there. Now, you really do need to re-ink this because we went off the page. That ink has been taken off the stamp. So you really do need to re-ink it again. And I'm just patting it now. Sometimes if your ink pad is too juicy, you actually do um, lose some of this beautiful detail. So always make sure you're just doing it lightly at first. Give it a test run to see how it goes. I've already made these cards before, so I know how they're turning out. And I think I'm just gonna use that part and feature those beautiful leaves. So just stamping that, holding it down, and there we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp them all and then assemble them. I've already cut everything out, and that really literally only took about five minutes. So if you work in um, the way that an assembly line goes, cut them all out, stamp them all, and then assemble them, um, it seems to go quicker. Of course, you're not stopping and yakking in the middle of it like I am, but there you go. So there's that one there. Now, I'll put that there to show you. This one here, thank you. Um, I think I'll just use the one big stamp. Um, it's really big enough to just support uh, that space. So once you've got it inked up, of course, you don't have to do this if you've got the bigger ink pads, but... I only have these smaller ones, so that was my choice. So I'm just going to pop that up towards the top, but let me think, let me think now. Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. I'll do it coming down so that the opposite corner um, has the greeting on there. Now Mary has basically done exactly the same as well she did them first obviously um, but do go and have a look at her um, Pinterest um, just to see what differences there were if you're interested so there's a very simple uh, thank you card um, happy birthday I really love this one too I actually I love them both it's a bit hard to choose between them but I really love this spattery effect so I'm going to go with this one on this one and really there's not a terrible lot to think about so if I put it like this I'm getting the whole effect of the flower just about and then I can put a couple of other little bits around here in the corners There's that one. And I can turn it around um, to suit. So if you, if you haven't decided which part of the stamp you're going to use, stamp the whole lot again, because you just don't know what you've already stamped off and what's going to be missing. So I can stamp part of it. I can stamp part of it like that. which I think I'll do. The leaves kind of interlock that way. Just holding that down. And then I think I'll just use the spatter end up the top. Now, of course, I set this camera up, but who knows what's moved in the meantime. So I think maybe I'll just have a little bit of the spattering in this corner here. And there we are. Different aspect again. Now the sympathy card, um, you know, very sad occasion. Um, you don't want too much 
um, to overpower the message that you're sending, which is one of sympathy, obviously. Um, but I think I'll just have this whole flower coming in from this direction here. I wonder if it's because I'm right-handed that I kind of <laughs> tend to go towards that side. I don't know. There we go. And we'll just pop a little bit, a very little bit up in that corner. Um, just to have a little bit peeking through. And there we are. It's just a very simple uh, message of sympathy. And normally I would clean those, but this is like a five minute or whatever video. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to glue these on now. Now we've got several different methods. We've got the stamp and seal. We've got the stamp and seal plus. I really like um, the liquid glue um, simply because it might take you a little second or two to get that in the right spot. So this gives you a little bit of that wiggle time. That's way too much glue there. Okay. So remember we've only got, well, not a great big border, but if you can center that up uh, basically with this half, you can see that you've got that amount. If you've cut them correctly, uh, using those measurements, there won't be an issue. You're going to get that in the right place. Now, sometimes my um, cutting blade leaves a little bit of a rough edge there. And I just buy these from the local um, cosmetics store. They're just an emery block. And I just give it a little bit of a... A little bit of a, a file and all that fuzz tends to come off so there's our first one sending a card instead of a text um, I'll just go continue on through and just glue these all together you don't need a lot of glue I mean I say that every time and then a big blob comes out but there you go that's pretty much life around here Okay, there's another one. So we've got two. Third one coming up. So that's what I tend to do. I tend to line it up here, make sure the border is the same here and here. And usually you're not too far out if you're out at all. Um, so there's four and our uh, three and our last one, which will be the fourth card. And as much as you know, sympathy cards evoke a lot of emotion with a lot of people. I think it's important to have some on hand. So um, yeah, you can just pop that straight in the mail. And there's another bit of a fuzzy edge to that gone okay so now it's simply a matter of um, folding your cards and giving them a good crease with your um, bone folder this is my old bone folder now if if it's a little bit out don't lose sleep over that. Turn it over so that the longer side is at the front. No Buddha will even know that. Now you can glue that flat down or you can raise that up on dimensionals. Um, in this case, I'm just going to glue it flat down because I want to put these in a little gift box and I'll show you that. And some of them will have gems on them. That was lucky, caught that. And again, with, with the front of the card, um, 
you know, if you can see three borders and they look even, then you're probably correct. So there's that one. Now, when you score your cards, you score them this way. Okay, so the indentation is going inward. Now, the natural thing is to fold it that way, but that has, that's actually not the right way to fold it. You actually fold it towards that. So it's, it's, it seems to go against nature, but what's happened to you is when you've scored it this way, you've actually started breaking down the fibres so it will be easier to uh, fold. So these ones are going this way. So just putting them all on. And as I said, this is a really, really quick um, set of cards. Now I've made four cards. I've used um, one sheet of very vanilla. I've used two sheets of the Very Vanilla Thick to make the uh, card bases, and I've used one sheet of the Merry Merlot. Uh, of course, I've got scraps left over because they're not the full um, quarter A4 size, so I've got scraps left over. And that's good because you can use those up at a later date. Oh, glue. Now all this stuff is available on my in my online store. Um, if you go to my online store and you're having issues, please contact me, um, and I can help you with putting that order in for you. Or if you want to receive some catalogues or anything like that, do let me know, um, and I'll help you as much as I can once you've actually um, enrolled or joined my um, online store, all your details are all kept in there. You don't have to keep repeating that over and over again. You make a password and you use that password to get into it every time. But you can actually go in and have a look at the catalogues and things like that. So now we've got our four cards. So we've got three going this way and we've got one in a portrait um, way. But they're so simple. They're so simple and sometimes uh, less is more. Now, I'm not, I don't know whether to, I might put some jewels on there. I don't know. I'll see. I'll leave that one to last. But I um, can't find my take your pick tool. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Uh, so generally speaking, three. Three is a really good number in design. Now we've got three different sizes here, so we can take our pick. So I think a small one here. And this is always the dilemma, where, where. But triangle, a triangle is, is always um, pleasing to the eye. So I might put one here. And I mean, don't overthink it because sometimes if you overthink it, um, yeah, that's the end of you. So we'll just make it like that. I mean, they're randomly placed. Give them a good press down. These ones here. Um, I mean, you don't have to use all the three different sizes. You can use three small ones, which I might use here. So put one in the middle of that flower. If I can pick it up, one in the middle of that flower. And then maybe one up here. So what that does is it actually draws the eye, whether you're conscious of it or not, it draws the eye around the card because it catches the light and it, and it catches your eye. Now the thank you, yeah, I think we might just put that around the thank you, just to create a bit of interest around there. As I said, 
don't overthink it. Sometimes you go with your best uh, gut feeling and I think I will put one on the sympathy card. I don't think I'll, um, maybe just one, maybe just a small one there. Odd numbers are always better. Maybe the, just to keep in line with that diagonal flow. Now, um, where is it? Here it is. Now, this is what I wanted to show you, are the little gift bags. And um, they come flat, they come in a set. I should, should have probably found them in the catalogue for you. I'll show you where they are. Um, Where are they? Acetate boxes. Here they are here. Uh, they're on page 137 of the annual catalogue. Now you get 10 um, in the packet. And they come flat, as I said. You can decorate that, of course. Put a belly band around it. Um, but they do pop open. So it's quite simple to do that. They're already pre-scored. And it's as, it's as easy as that. Then these tabs go in, pre-fold that, pop that in there. I hope I'm still in camera. And And there it is, a perfectly shaped gift box. And these will go in, they will fit the envelopes in there as well. Um, where are the envelopes? And you can decorate the envelopes as well. I, I'll just quickly do that for you. Um, oops, she says. So you can do exactly the same thing. And it's, it's as simple as... Um, stamping it off the corner of the envelope and it just makes a beautiful set um, that you can give as a gift or you know if you're selling them um, of course you need to put the Stampin' Up! copyright um, stamp on the back um, that's just the law so we've got that envelope to go with that that took me two seconds. You could even stamp the back if you wish. Um, so that's one. This one here uses this stamp. So we'll put this stamp on there. I'm not sure if you're getting that. Just gives them a little peek of what's inside. And the envelopes stamp up beautifully, so um, it's good quality paper. So there we go, that's two. This one here. Use this stamp again. Um, and if you wanted to, um, you could make it a border all the way down down the side. I'll just show you what I mean. So there's one bit. I've turned the stamp around now so you're going to get a different part of it. And we'll stamp another bit. Just so you get a, a different part of it all the way. And there you go. Beautiful. So that one can go with that. And then our last one is our sympathy card. And you might want to put that one on the back. Um, you can actually stamp it over the flap, like a seal. So there's just a few different ways 
of using our beautiful stamps. Now they will all go into that little uh, gift box and I'll pop them in and just show you. They just pop straight in there. And it's a good idea to put a card on either side so it doesn't matter which side of the box they see they're going to see a beautiful card the boxes are a bit stiff because I've only just created it so just be careful when you're sliding them in and now it's caught on the flat But as you can see, they they look beautiful. And when the box is closed, you can tie it with a ribbon or whatever. Um, I have to check out this flap because it's, I think it's bent too far. So we'll take the top one out and we'll put the, the flap in. And then we'll put that one back in. very carefully so there you are a beautiful gift box um, now you can make these um, put them away for Christmas presents or gifts throughout the year um, if you wanted to you could put four stamps in there as well they will just take a standard stamp because we haven't made them too bulky um, yeah, there shouldn't be a problem with them going through the mail. Of course, you can put a, um, a greeting inside. You can choose the greeting that you want um, or you can leave them blank and let the recipients uh, fill in their own messages. But I hope you've enjoyed that. That's very, very quick. Um, four beautiful cards. They're different. They do uh, carry the same theme. And at the end, they turn into a beautiful gift for somebody so I hope uh, you might give that a try. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching today. And of course, happy crafting. Go to my uh, online store and that is uh, central to everything that you can see there. That is only good until the 31st of January. So in um, a few days that will be um, redundant and there will be a new uh, host code but it will be on the opening page so you will be able to see it uh, again thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you uh, giving me that time of yours today I know everybody's really busy I try to keep them brief and I try to keep them moving and um, again happy crafting and I'll see you on the next video bye